So I was out for a ride with my buddy Seth the other day when this happened. What just happened? We were out for a ride on a pretty techie black diamond trail in Pisgah called Daniel's Ridge, and I was riding my full suspension bike, but Seth was testing out his brand new custom $12,000 hardtail he had just finished building up. As the person on the full suspension bike, I have a lot larger margin of error in these rough sections, whereas Seth needs to be a lot more precise or, well, stuff like this happens. To make things even more difficult, Seth was also clipped in for the first time in a long time, but we're just gonna be good friends and act like we didn't see that one. After being so confused by what happened, I had to figure this out, and sure enough, if we slow it down and zoom in, you can see Seth roll over this large flat rock with his front wheel, which then flips it up at an angle just in time for his back wheel to catch it like a curb and pop it right up. I still can't believe that he was able to ride this out, but it got me thinking. Would my full suspension bike have done the same thing? I don't know what just happened, but I think it was sick. Like and subscribe for more mountain bike content and check out my channel if you want to see the full video.